Okay, hello everybody. Um, we are here in Wrocław in the Global Wind Consulting um, Training Facility. And we have uh, here um, our special guest, Frederica. Uh, she came here from Italy. Um, would you be able to tell us a little bit about yourself? Of course. Hi, everyone. I'm Federica. I'm from Milan. I was born in a little town near Milan, and I live there with my family. And uh, yes, so very <laughs> nice. What's your profession right now? What do you do for a living? I am a rope access technician. So I work on rope mainly in Milan, in the city. Um, so, uh, what made you to change the, the industry, to go into the wind industry? Well, I think this industry is, pretty, is developing very much and so I, I hope uh, we will have chances to find work also in this industry, not only in like building maintenance or other rope access works, but also in this type mm. of work. So, as a rope access technician, are you afraid of heights? And no, I'm not. I think you just have to focus on your work and not look down. But no, I'm not. Um, it's actually a pretty unusual work. You don't sit in the office every day, and uh, so this is why I like it. As well. uh, how long you been a rope access technician? Well, only for a few years. I did my Irata level one in 2017. So you got your level two right now, don't you? Yes, uh, September last year. I'm a fresh level two. Congratulations! That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, so, if we're talking about that, can you tell us the worst job you did on the uh, in a rope access so far? Well, probably that was uh, cleaning and installing some um, pigeons needles. Okay, right on. Yeah, that's that would make sense. <laughs> Definitely not something anybody want to do. Um, so now the question, a little bit, few questions about uh, wind turbines. Uh, which direction wind turbine spins? Well, clockwise. That's right. You know why? Um, <laughs> because I guess the pressure side is on the right side of the turbine. Is that, <laughs> that might be the reason. Maybe our viewers know what's the reason. Please comment below the video and we'll see who got the right answer. Okay, uh, so... How many women work in the wind industry, as far as you know? Well, I'm pretty new in this. I, I'm starting right now, so I'm not sure about that, but I don't think there are many. Mm -hmm. In rope access, there are s several all over the world, but it's still, it's mainly uh, like men work. What's the reason f uh, for that? Like, why the numbers are so low with the women in the industry? Well, maybe because um, women can think that the, this work it's really uh, hard, like mm -hmm. it's physically demanding, but it's actually all about technique. So also women can make it. If you use the right technique, you will not uh, be so tired. <laughs> sure, makes sense. So we have two uh, same qualified per persons, uh, same set of skills, same certs, but they uh, come from different countries. And as we know, there's a wage gap between the uh, different nationalities. What's your thoughts about that? I think uh, everyone should be paid depending on the quality of the work and about depending on the work yeah. someone's do. So why does the passport matter? Exactly, right? Everybody should get paid equal for the job they do. Perfect. Um, what do you think is the biggest challenge for um, um, renewable energy well, they face it right now? Well, um, I'm pretty new, as I said, but as far as I know, I think the main problem uh, right now is uh, the energy storage. So, um, like, uh, wind turbines produce a lot of energy, and it's even more than what they can actually uh, store. Yeah, for someone pretty new in the industry, you got pretty good knowledge about that, right on. So, could you please tell us a little bit about the course you've taken here? You like the course? You like the info we provide you with? Yes, I'm doing the GWO blade repair course, and uh, so far it, it's wonderful. A lot of information, a lot of materials. Um, the workshop is amazing. Uh, really mm, experienced instructor, and I, I'm really enjoying that. Yeah, yeah, I think it's really interesting, and I'm learning so much. So uh, you're planning to basically work all over the world because um, the wind turbines obviously are uh, set up everywhere. Uh, you're not going to have any problem with uh, remote locations and uh, long shifts during the work? 
Well, I like to travel. I, I love traveling, so uh, this is not a problem for me. I will tell you about the long trips, <laughs> but I think, yeah, it will be great. Uh, as a woman, uh, don't you think it's going to be a little bit problematic to start family or even relationship uh, during the work, kind of like that? Well, you, I don't know. I think you, you never know how things go, but I'm pretty focused on the work right now. So let's start doing that and then we will see. Yeah, well, definitely. Uh, can you please tell us what your friends and family think about you doing a world access work and getting into wind industry? Well, at first they were surprised about that, but then they get really interested in that. And they, I think my friends and my family think it, it's a really um, like interesting thing and pretty unusual. So I think, yeah, they, they like this. Yeah, well, definitely, you're kind of like a superwoman. <laughs> like Wonder Woman, I don't know. But yeah, it's you feel like you're doing something important and yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and the scenario is nice, right? Sitting on top of the turbine, it's going to be gorgeous views. Gorgeous landscapes and views, yeah, definitely. That's right. So uh, can you please tell us, what would you tell uh, to other women who maybe think about getting into the kind of industry, rope access and wind, wind industry? I would say try. Just try, don't be afraid. Uh, you're gonna make it. If you just focus on techniques and on the work itself, you are definitely going to make it. Women can do that. I would say so too, I definitely agree. It's definitely a job for everybody who's not afraid of heights. Yeah. That's right. So, um, what's your biggest concern about starting work in this this industry? Well, um, I'm really curious about how I will feel when I'm on top of the turbine, and um, probably I would take into consideration the wind, which is something I think really important in this environment, in this work environment. So maybe that could concern me a little bit, because you could be blown away, but you just have to find the right technique and to check all the conditions the, um, of the environment and that will help. Yeah. Um, so as you probably know the shifts on the North Sea are usually two and two, two weeks on, two weeks off, but uh, onshore the shift is like six, one, six weeks on, one week off. You think you can handle shift like that? Yeah, well that sounds a lot, yeah, a lot of days in a row, but I think you're I tough. You can, <laughs> you can make it. See how it goes. Yeah, yeah as definitely. I said, I, I, you have to try and then you will see. But it's gonna be really interesting. Fair enough, for sure, makes sense. How many continents we got on a planet Earth? Well, eight. <laughs> there we go. It was great to have you here. I uh, hope uh, you're gonna find the best work you can you can find and. Hope uh, the, prov the, the training we provide you with is going to put you on the top of the list. Have a great day and nice to meet you. Thank you very much. It was great to be here with you and thanks for this interview. It was sure. a pleasure. Thank yeah. you. My pleasure. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Bye. Yeah, high five. I asked what? Yeah, do we, we do this. What? This, this. <laughs> right on. Wow, <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't <laughs> set up. <laughs> Sweet. Right on, right on. I just go then. Yeah. Okay, I, well, I yeah. I, I feel so bad. Like, ah, the guys will have like the super bears jump coat, and I will be with my square like. <laughs>